a lot of people have asked how I get the softness that I do. I figure uh, showing where I start with uh, these two young horses would be a great place to show. Um, so in the beginning, this is the second time these horses have ha even had a bit in their mouth. This is the first time that I'm going to pick up on the reins. I'm going to start with lateral flexion. I'm going to pick up with a very light, soft feel. And I want to think of it anywhere from half of an apple to a whole apple to a quarter of an apple in my hand. When I get something like that, the slightest little give, then I'm going to give back to the horse, pet and love all over them. Um, I'm going to do this quite a few times. I start from the ground just because um, it gives them less to kind of think about and be worried about. Um, pick up this rein here and you see he's not thinking about me. You'll see his right ear look at me. But I might even give just for that. There's mine came to me, so I give him a pet, and then his head and mine come all the way around. So I'm just every day going to continue to work on this and build on this. In a minute, you'll see me pick up on uh, two reins, and you'll see kind of where the struggle comes in there. I'll just continue building where I can bend them left and right. I'm not in a hurry here. Whatever presents itself presents itself. And I might actually spend quite a bit of time bending laterally before I even... Uh, on a normal scenario, pick up on two reins. I do in this video just to kind of show you where they might start out at. Um, but I might get the lateral bending really good before I go to pick up on both reins. So I'll switch sides again here. Get him over here where you can see. Pick up on that rein and just wait. That little give right there might be what I reward for. So that's just a slow process, getting them used to someone pulling on their mouth. Now you'll see I'll pick up both reins. I'll just reach over and we'll get them back straight here so you can see. I'll just pick up on both reins and try to get them centered. And you can see there's a little more struggle here when it comes to both these reins being in play. And I don't mind a little bit of, uh, you know, struggle trying to figure things out. If he moves his feet, if he backs up, I'm going to lighten uh, just momentarily because I want that in there as well. But then I'm going to go back to picking up on both reins and keeping them straight. It's a pretty... Um, slow and boring process. It's one of those things that I'm not going to rush. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to be in a hurry for anything. I'm not going to apply more weight. Here, I'm just going to go with him if he thinks he needs to go back. Then you're going to see both of them struggle just a little bit, and they don't know where to go with their head. This is something totally new to them. So I lost his mind there. We got it back. We get the working of the jaw. That could be stress and not de-stressing. And I'll just hang out here. He thinks raising his head is going to get him out of the bind. And I'm going to give for the slightest chance. He's probably going to get it just by um, throwing his head where I want it to go. But I'm when he gets there, I'm going to give for that. It's not going to be perfect by any means this first time. Now he thinks rooting down in my hands is the answer. So I'll just hold what I got. And this is part of the long, slow, boring stuff. But he'll pick up on this each day and get better and better. And just follow him back. There's a good sign. I lighten my hands. And what I'm going for here is just for him to open up his pole and break over and kind of get vertical on his forehead. And as you can see, he's just confused on what I'm asking, wondering why I didn't give 
more to that uh, release or to his give that he gave me. So if you're kind of going for a soft feel, if you want it to be light, you can't rush into it. Right here, I'll hold. I don't want him rooting down. So he meets more of his own pressure right there. <clears throat> I'm just looking for the slightest inkling in the right direction. I think it would come sooner if I hadn't gone right into a vertical flexion the first time. Um, if I had spent more time lateral bending, maybe for a day or two, this probably would come sooner, but that's fine. I'm not in any rush. I don't really care how long it takes. This is just part of the way that it is. And this horse training deal is, it's a lot of this. It's slow, it's boring, it, not a lot of dust kicking up. In my, I guess at my place, there's not a magic bit to make this go faster. There's not, and I don't want it to go fast. I want it to take as much time as it needs to be take. Well, you can get a good view of this horse's mouth. He's not completely comfortable. He's trying to figure out what's going on. He can't figure out why in the world we'd have this piece of metal in his mouth to make him do certain things. And I just, I feel like I get a lot more done um, starting this from the ground first. So you'll see my hands and his face here. He might struggle, if I remember correctly. And when he does really root, I'll just hold what I got, wait for him to come off of it. I don't add any pressure. If he was to get away from me, I'd just start over. He thinks back up, so I'll reward just slightly for a backup because that is also what those reins mean. And you can see his pal comes up. She could be milling around anywhere in the arena, but she decides to be with us. Like I said, the weight of my hands is about, right now, <clears throat> it's about half an apple to an apple, if you've ever picked up an apple. We'll reset here, he kind of rooted down, and I knew we were going to go out of the frame, so brought him back up. start over and the first time he even if he just kind of roots his head or is headed in the right direction of where I want him to be obviously I don't want him rooting but if he gets there I'm gonna hang out here while he's braced lighten as he kind of went there and you're gonna see me really reward him when we just he just kind of happens into what I'm asking Just hang in there. He's saying, I don't know what I have to do, human, but I am kind of don't like you doing that. And if I was to be upset or want to rush it or put more weight, then <clears throat> all we're doing is just screaming at him if we do that. So he slightly lightened there. We'll try one more time for the sake of the video. I've got the right rein. There he lowered his head. Not really looking for him to dive down. So if he roots down, that's going to throw the weight on the forehand. I'm just going to hold what I got. And this is, from my understanding, the second time these horses have even had a bit in their mouth, so they're really confused. They 
they can't figure out why we would do what we're doing. So I got a little bit of a give there, so I'm really going to reward him and love all over him. And that might be the, you know, the day, but let's see. We'll pick it up one more time here, see if we can't get a little better. I'm just hanging in there until I get a little bit of a vertical move of his forehead. That tells me there's our brace. He's just saying, when he does that, he's just saying, I don't understand what in the world are you asking of me. And if I got mad, if I got upset, if I did more, then I would just be screaming the same question that he doesn't understand. So you just hang in there. He's not completely lost yet. Right there, he kind of got the, he got exactly what I wanted. But it was because that other horse came in there and he was kind of checking it out. But I still am going to give for it and really love all over him. Maybe that happens and maybe he'll be better the next time. And it <clears throat> wasn't much, but it was a start. Same thing. Pick up the reins again. And we're just going to wait. Just gonna hang in here. There's our rooting. I'm not applying any more pressure. I'll just wait. Now I know if this is sorry when I'm sitting on the ground, there's a just in, happened in spite of me right there. But I don't care. I'll be very happy with the slightest thing that I can get. So I know if I can't do this on the ground. There's dang sure no way I'm going to be doing it on top of their back, especially if things start to fall apart. So what I do is I tie this on this bit over the halter, and I'll, you know, after I worked with them for the day, I'll leave them tied, and I might, there, that was beautiful. Wasn't much, but it was it was a start. So I might leave this bit on them, um, and go time, and as I'm walking from point A to point B in between other horses, I'll stop and bend a little left, bend a little right, and then walk away. They're, give them something to do. Lovely. Perfect. And this is all in a 10-minute time span. All I'm doing is lightly picking up on those reins and waiting. And I could have quit with that right there. Good. When I think I do here, I switch horses. Um, I had some company coming into town this day. Um, I didn't work this paint horse as long as I did this little bay looking horse. Um, I put the halter on. I don't ride with the halter underneath my head stall, but I put the halter on in this instance, so if they were to jerk away from me, rather than trying to hold them by their mouth or by my get down rope on these reins, I have that halter there so then the <clears throat> first time they don't have a, a chance to really get pulled on in the mouth if they don't understand it, like if they were to rip away from me. So it's more of a, I'm not gonna shoot myself in the foot day one, like if I go to pick up these reins and this horse flies backwards, I've got my uh, halter there as a backup so I, I don't ruin her mouth from the very get-go and try to have to fix something for the next couple of months. And you can see the signs of relaxing that the spay horse is presenting us, yawning, the third lens of the eye coming over, or the second lens or third eye, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it tells me he didn't pull away and run away. He camped out here. He kind of wants to be around us. He's relaxed. He's All the things that he just <clears throat> learned are kind of soaking into his little walnut brain. So, And you can do it by standing in front of him. You can pick up that cheek piece and, and manipulate their head.
So we'll go about this the same way. I'm going to pick up one rain. I might pick up one rain, but from the off side, that I feel like kind of makes it a little more difficult because they don't have you to pick up. They kind of have to, you know, pick up with their eye to go to that side. So wasn't really making any ground there, and this horse was in the way. So I think I switched sides here. Maybe not. Pick up on this left rein. I pick up, and I just wait. I pick up with, with those reins about, like, if you took, a, a, you know, the hand of an elderly person, you wouldn't just crush them in your hand. Good. So she thinks that kind of meant walk around me. I don't want to ruin. So we'll just come over here and start again. Pick up on the reins. And I'll wait. There's probably half of an apple to a quarter of an apple in my hand. I'll be kind of elastic. When she looks off, I'll just go with her. <clears throat> I don't increase the weight in my hand. I might pet her there. There was when, you notice right there, you might replay that. When she gave, she found immediate release in those reins because I wasn't pulling. When I pick up my hand right there, it's like my hand is a, is a stump in the ground or a post in the ground. So when she gives, I don't keep pulling. She's working her tongue on that bit. We'll switch sides here. And again, all this is is the, the method that I take to begin to get one soft in the face. I don't bump on them. I just take my time picking up a rein, explaining what it means, and I do it from the standstill on the ground. If I was on her, I wouldn't have I wouldn't even touch these reins because I wouldn't have anything anyways. If I can't pick up one of these reins from the ground and have them imedi immediately bend to me that tells me on their back it's not going to be there anyways so all i'm going to be doing is ruining their mouth in my opinion to start with so i just kind of ease around on this job here see she gave but she was tight so I, i'm hanging in there well actually i think i have both reins here you just can't really see the offhand so she thinks she needs to back up. By all means, I want her to do that. But I'm I'm not going to... Um, I'm going to keep a little bit of pressure to say there's actually more to that question than just back up. Start again with both reins. There's a slight give down. There's a second give. That's what I'm looking for. She thinks it means back up. And I approach this no different than if you had zero clue what was going on and someone put a hunk of iron in your mouth, you might be might take you a while to figure it out, so we'll get one more little give here. There. We got backing and a little softness coming through. Get organized here where the camera can see. We'll pick up both reins. We'll wait. So I think she roots against it too, but it's not because this rooting is just not under a uh, uh, not understanding. I'm not gonna pull more. She even got her tongue a little over the bit there. <clears throat> I'm not gonna pull more. I'm gonna have my arms kind of like an elastic band, and we'll just start over. We'll 
hang out here. She might have to root against it again. 